So Raphael says, uh, I have the Ravenscroft 275. It sounds very realistic, especially when connected to a larger speaker with an amp. Yeah, I play this as my piano through my monitor speakers because it sounds better than my actual Casio electric piano. The Ravenscroft 275 is my favorite piano plugin for iOS. There are a heap of choices. You have your choice of piano plugin for iOS. But if I got to choose, I would choose this because it is just the nicest quality, best sampled piano sound that I've had in iOS. Now, I don't have my MIDI keyboard in, so let's see if we can just play a chord here. We'll hit a C chord because we always have to, right? So you're not really going to hear it from me just playing it along here, but there's a heap of cool options in here. And again, full video down in the description. We don't have time to go into it and show all of them here, but there's a whole bunch of different presets here. You've got an EQ that you can play with. You've got reverb. You've got velocity control here. You've got a whole bunch of control within this. Again, you've got your presets here. So if we want something like an old jazz piano... There you go. If you want to play a jazz chord, uh, you can play that. Uh, so again, really cool standalone app, but it doesn't come into its own until we throw it into a track. So let's bring up GarageBand and let's play around with this. So I chose this song to experiment with because this song actually happens to have quite a bit of piano in it. So again, it's my song called The Tree. Feel free to check it out. Go to PeteJohns.com to check out my music if you want to support me there. Uh, but let's take a listen to this. We'll come in and solo these piano parts here. So we've got two different piano parts there, right? And these are using the, the stock standard GarageBand piano, which is excellent, mind you. Don't be afraid to use the stock standard GarageBand piano. It is a it is a sampled Steinway piano. It is good. You don't need to worry. But what we can do is actually use Clefgrand instead. And this is the cool thing about these apps. The sack with Central Sax, with uh, Clefgrand, with Ravenscroft, we can actually add it in and then shift our piano from the old one to the new one because it's all just MIDI, yeah? So it's totally possible. So we'll hit a plus button here. Again, we're going to, well, sorry, this time, because it's a plugin, we're going to use it over, no, no, forget that. I'm getting confused. We want it to be, we want it to be external audio unit extension, just like we did before. We're going to tap the Ravenscroft 275, and here it is exactly as it was in the other standalone version. All the same presets, all the same knobs for your twiddling delight. So what we can do is come back here. Now let's grab that, uh, that nice little high twiddly piano bit that we had going on here, and we're going to tap it, we're going to copy it, and once again, because it is just MIDI note data, no audio there, that's just computer ones and zeros, we can paste it here into the Ravenscroft. So now if we solo out remove that one and solo in this one. In fact, we'll just, we'll, we'll remove that one as well. So we're just going to hear this piano. So you can hear the tone of the Ravenscroft. So this is what the Ravenscroft piano will sound like. So really nice. And again, the beautiful part here is if we want a different piano sound there, no problem. So we want more of a, a, a concert piano style. We can play there. And it's increased the amount of reverb and decay that we have on there. We want to go with something really kind of, uh, uh, what, what's the really crazy one? I think the Prometheus sounds kind of interesting. So it doesn't really fit with this one. Wow, there's some there's some reverb uh, or a pop sound, something like this. If we want it, because this is more of a pop song, we want a poppier sound. Much brighter, yeah. So yeah, you get a really nice bright sound coming through there. Um, there you go. We've got some folks uh, commenting about it. So Raphael says, uh, "I have the Ravenscroft 275. It sounds very realistic, especially when connected to a larger speaker with an amp." Yeah, I play this as my piano through my monitor speakers because it sounds better than my actual Casio electric piano. So yeah, if you've got any, if you've got a MIDI keyboard and an iPhone or an iPad and a pair of speakers or an old amp or anything you can get yourself a really nice sounding piano there.